Thank you for joining this physics lesson. We're going to discuss refraction of light through successive media. Uh, remember, we have already discussed refraction of light through a pair of media. But in this case, I'd like us to look at a successive media, whereby when light enters a certain media, then into another one, instead of penetrating back to air, it can go through another or several other media before exiting. Let us consider uh, some layers of media which have been uh, placed as shown. Let me draw can have a certain media, media one. Then uh, we do another one, we give them some space. So we can have a media two, then media three. So we can have now, we can, uh, we can have this one as media one. Then medium one, then medium two, then medium three, yeah, then we can have medium one again, suppose that medium one is air. So we can have array of light being incident with medium two or with a, the boundary there such that if this is the normal at that point we can have the incident ray at that point such that it makes an angle which we can call i then after that now the ray is refracted until it reaches this interface. At this point, we can uh, draw a normal at the same point of incidence, a normal at that point. Then after that, knowing well that uh, this normal and this normal are parallel to one another, then the angle of refraction, which we can call the angle of refraction one, is equivalent to the angle of refraction at this point. So we can call it angle of refraction one, and the same value is transferred to the other side, such that we also have angle of refraction R1, being now the angle of incidence for this case. Then we have more refraction. We can have more refraction up to that point. This one now is happening, giving us a second angle of refraction. Then we're going to have a, again, a normal at this point. So that the angle at this point now becomes a, again R2 because of the parallel nature of the two normals here. So this angle and this one becomes alternate. Then we can have now the ray exiting. Can have the ray exiting back to air or out to air through angle I. What we should know is that a refractive index of medium two with respect to one, refractive index of medium two with respect to one is given by the sine of i divided by the sine of r1, the first angle of refraction. Then after that, we can also argue that the refractive index of the third media with respect to the second now is going to be, we can have uh, the angle of refraction in this case, which is a uh, the angle of incidence is R1, so the sine of R1, which is now our angle of incidence, divided by the sine 
of R T. There is something I want us to compare here. Let's multiply refractive index of medium two with respect to one times refractive index of medium three with respect to two, such that we will have the sign of I divided by the sign of R1 multiplied by the sign of R1 divided by the sign of R2 in such a way. Mathematically, the sign of R1 and the sign of R1 are going to cancel one another and we can conclude that refractive index of media 2 with respect to 1 times refractive index of medium 3 with respect to 2 is equivalent to the sign of I out of the sign of R2. That one is concluded. Again, we are also supposed to know that because we have medium 3 and medium 1 again here, then refractive index of medium 1 with respect to 3 is going to be the sign of i no the sign of because we want the sign of angle of incidence and the angle of incidence in this case is r2 therefore the sign of r2 divided by the sign of i which means if the sign of or if the refractive index of medium one with respect to three equals to the sine of R2 divided by the sine of I, then we can conclude that this implies that refractive index of medium three with respect to one is going to be the reciprocal of refractive index of medium one with respect to three. Therefore, we shall have the sine of i divided by the sine of r2 remember this is concluded from just to recall that if we have refractive index of a certain medium 2 with respect to 1 this is the same as the reciprocal of refractive index of medium 1 with respect to 2 when you reverse the ray of light Therefore, you can see now, refractive index of medium two with respect, according to this now, you can call this equation one and this equation two. Now we can see from equation one, refractive index of media two with respect to medium one, multiplied by refractive index of medium three with respect to medium three, because we got this. And we are seeing in case we want refractive index of three with respect to one, we are also getting the same. This value is equal to this. Then we can say, in case the media were several now, we can say refractive index of the last media from the first medium equals to refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first times refractive index of the third medium with respect to the second, and the process continues until we have refractive index of the the kth one, if they are k, with respect to k minus one, the media just before the last. This is for for k successive media for case excessive media, that one holds. Now we can uh, take an example. Let's take an example and solve it. If you are told that uh, the refractive index of water is four out of three, the refractive index, The refractive 
index of water is 4 out of 3 and that of glass is 3 out of 2. Find the refractive index of glass. Find the refractive index. Find the refractive index of glass. With respect to with respect to water. So we can now check into the solution. We use a different ink. So this is the is going to be solved in this way. Solution. So remember, whenever you are given refractive index of a certain media. It is usually assumed that the standard reference is air. Therefore, if we are talking of refractive index of water, then it's automatically with respect to air. Therefore, refractive index of water, and of course, with respect to air, is 4 out of 3. Again, refractive index of glass, still with respect to air is 3 out of 2. In this case, we want refractive index of glass with respect to water. Of glass with respect to water. Therefore, it's very good to know that if we move, for instance, let's say we got, uh, we got air, then now we got uh, water, then we have glass, and finally, air, then we are saying refractive index of a glass with respect to air. Refractive index, let me demonstrate that. Refractive index of glass with respect to air is going to be given by, that is from the first media to the last, is going to be given by refractive index of water with respect to air multiplied by refractive index of glass with respect to water. So in this case, we want refractive index of glass with respect to water. Therefore, that means refractive index of glass with respect to air is given, that is 3 over 2. This is equal to refractive index of water with respect to air, that is 4 over 3, multiplied by refractive index of glass with respect to water, which is now our unknown. So to remain with our known, we can multiply by 3 over by three over 4, yeah, to have them cancelling here, then by 3 out of 4. And this is going to give us refractive index of glass with respect to water as 9 out of 8, which is equivalent to 1.125.